Jaguars are all about subtle style and understated grace, but not this one. It's got a wild looking mesh grille, extra holes and vents and four huge exhausts hanging out the back. Meet the new flagship of the Jaguar lineup, the XKR. The big deal with the XKR is under the bonnet because it's got a supercharged V8 engine, so it's very much the performance hero of the Jaguar lineup. And that sounds very promising. And that sounds absolutely awesome. It's got this really deep bellow belching out the back exhausts, but as revs rise, it turns into this animalistic bark. And if you listen really carefully, you can still hear the supercharger whining away under the bonnet. Fantastic, just makes you want to drive. All up, there's well over 300 kilowatts of power, or about 420 horsepower in the old money. Now that's enough to launch the big cat to 100 k's an hour in a bit, bit over 5 seconds, 5.2, something like that. But I reckon the best bit of this whole drivetrain is the six-speed automatic transmission. It works an absolute treat. It's got paddles behind the steering wheel here, picks the gears, does really smooth changes. Fantastic, really works with the engine. It's also really impressive through the corners, which is good because I've got plenty of them up ahead. It's got huge wheels and tyres that stick really, really well. So through all these nice twisty bits, it just points, grips and delivers. But as much as it slams you in the back with its acceleration and devours the corners, the XKR is still very much a grand tourer rather than a racetrack hero. But other than sexy styling, heaps of stonk and an engine sound to die for, the XKR isn't exactly overloaded with space. Sure, the front seats are fine and I've got plenty of leg and headroom, but have a look at those back seats. That is an absolute joke. And while it is one of the lighter cars in the class because it's got an aluminium construction, it's still not exactly a featherweight at 1.7 tonnes, so you're constantly aware of that mass. And one area where you're really aware of that is that old convertible bugbear, scuttle shake. Hit a bump and you notice the windscreen just shaking a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I know. You're hardly about to buy a convertible to drag your mother-in-law around in the back seat. In fact, you may not want a convertible at all. Which reminds me. There's also a coupe version of the XKR. Same interior, same suspension, and same beautiful throaty V8 engine. But this one's 50 kilos lighter because it doesn't have that soft top folding roof. Instead, there's a hard top which means the body feels a lot stiffer. Now that's really good for corners. Thankfully I've got plenty of them. I'm in Spain and this particular part of Spain I don't seem to be able to make a wrong turn. But not quite everything with the XKR is to die for. Like the fuel consumption, this baby will use about 20 litres per 100 k's if you're getting up it. That's a fair bit, but worse still is the, the actual fuel tank. It's about 71 litres, so any cruisy trip into the country is likely to involve a few swipes of the credit card. There's also some little things that just don't have the attention to detail, like this centre console, which to me just looks a bit plain Jane. And I can't for the life of me work out why Jags put a ye olde style aerial. It's one of those electric pop-up ones, which not only looks pretty daggy, but it's also prone to damage. But I am probably nitpicking a little bit, because the x is a really nice way to travel. It's smooth, comfortable and deceptively quick. Then again, it would want to be. The Cooper Min is 230 grand and the Cabriolet a quarter of a million bucks. Ouch. But somehow I don't think it'll be a huge problem when it comes to sales, at least initially. It's the new kit on the grid, the latest must-have fashion accessory in a market segment led by fashion. It also feels just like a Jag should. And it's also pretty stylish. Now, speaking of style, have a look at this place. It's one of the trendiest, hippest hotels in Europe. But I'm sort of glad Jag didn't go quite that radical. Hey. 